All right, folks, welcome back to the shop. Uh, realized I hadn't done a video in almost a month, so don't let life get you down. It'll make you stop making videos. So on to that. Today we're going to be looking at DC braking on a VFD. VFD. Uh, got a good buy on this on eBay. Uh, and I'll show you how I got it running and what it does. But basically it's uh, like a big brake for the mill. You want to run the mill and you uh, plug this thing in, you get it hooked up. You can use it as a big DC brake. So, spin the mill up. Running usually takes about eight seconds to spool that down. It'll stop in one second. Dumps all the heat to the resistor. And uh, I'll tell you how that works. But just wanted to say welcome to the shop. Here we go. All right, folks, this is uh, 60 hertz on the VFD, runs the mill at about 3,500 RPMs uh, to a one-second stop. Here we go. 3,500 RPMs to a one-second stop. Let me tell you how it got here. It's using DC braking and a big resistor. Here we go. Alexa, stop the music. All right, folks, what I've got here is uh, a big resistor. It's the uh, Fuji uh, DB 2.2-2. And when the motor's spinning down, yeah, AC induction, three-phase motors, uh, becomes basically a generator. And if you want to use that energy for braking, you got to dump it to a resistor in the form of heat. Uh, What's inside here is basically like a heater coil out of a uh, resistive heater. Uh, it does have a couple of connectors for a thymester on the inside of there, a thermistor to detect overheat conditions, and then it'll, it would shut the VFD off. But you could really just use a, uh, a lot of cheap resistors off of eBay. I happened to find this one. Uh, they wanted a hundred bucks for it. I offered them fifty on a best offer, and they took it. That shows you right there that uh, offered too much. But at any rate, it came here. I got it, and uh, Bob Jonte, it worked. Here we go. I'll show you what I did with it. Okay, when I would run the uh, the VFD with a small end mill in it and really turn up a lot of RPMs uh, it would spool down and give me an error message. Let me find that error message right here. It's, it's uh, show you exactly the one it is. It's yeah it's right here. It's uh, OU2 over voltage during deceleration. Now the default setting um, in F8 which is the deceleration time is six seconds which normally works out for any other issues it's not a not a problem but if you're turning high RPMs with a small end mill it's going to turn down about over seven seconds maybe seven or eight seconds throws this error code and then you have to open the box up and hit the reset button to reset it now my fix my workaround was to set one of the functions um, EX E0 I set that function to coast to a stop and uh, that fixed a problem but when I saw this resistor on eBay I figured I'd go another way and, and that's where we are right now so we throw this code and uh, again if you're interested the resistor that I've got uh, I love this little this little quick reference guide here uh, it's got everything you need to know without going through a the book is so thick. Uh, Alright, here's the peripherals or options. This is the exact resistor that I've got right there. Gives you the dimensions. Uh, so basically if you've got a resistor uh, and you're running a 3 horsepower VFD, uh, it needs to be rated for 40 ohms uh, and I think a thousand watts. So when I got this in it ohmed out, ohmed it out at, at 40 point three or something like that so it's well within the spec it, it was a used device but it seems to be functioning beautifully uh, you know I, I sat there and 
would run up full speed, hit the stop button, and uh, this thing would barely even get warm. But you could tell that it was uh, dumping a juice into that. So at any rate, uh, here we go. We'll move on. I'll show you some shots of, uh, of the mill running and maybe even throwing this code. All right, here we go. All right, so here we have the uh, braking resistor disconnected here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn it wide open. It should stop in one second, but let's see what happens. Max RPM. All right, still spinning. Still spinning. Probably five, six seconds later. All right. Now we're kicking out an error message here. Let's see if we can see it. <clears throat> it's, it says OU2, but I think they mean that to be an OV2. That means over voltage on deceleration. And uh, Basically that means you don't have a DC brake and there's no place to dump that additional power into so it just goes into an air state to protect the equipment. So there's nothing wrong with what it's doing. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So now when I hook up that brake and put those wires back on it, you'll find it'll, it'll stop in one second. It doesn't have to be one second. It'd be a half second. Half second kind of makes the, wo the motor sound just a little wonky there. It's a... Uh, I really don't want to push it that hard, but one second makes a nice smooth stop, and uh, that's as slow as I'm going to get it. And once again, I, I really don't even have a practical application for this. This is just something that I want to do. Uh, I do have a practical application for being able to tell you what, I'm going to show you that in a minute once I get this buttoned up. So stand by. We're going to button up and come back to this. All right, the, res the resistor, is, uh, the VFD is still in the triggered mode. So I'm going to have to program reset. It's now reset. Uh, let's give that another try. We're going to run it wide open. Sixty hertz. That's 3,500 RPMs at the spindle. And when I hit the stop button, right up here, stop before you can get a look at it. Anyhow, that's resistive braking. All right, here we go. All right, this next thing is for you uh, VFD gurus. Uh, I'm running this using the three-wire method. So only three wires come in here, forward, reverse, and a potentiometer, and they pass through these momentaries. Here's what I want to do. I want to be able to turn the machine on. I want to go straight to reverse and have the machine come slow down to a stop and then go into reverse. I cannot figure out how to... I've looked all through the book and I cannot figure out how to get that command up and running. Basically what I want to do is be running in forward. Let's say I'm power tapping. I want to be running in forward, simply switch the reverse and the machine should be smart enough to sense it's in reverse now. We're going to come to a complete stop and go in reverse. There's got to be a way to do it. Matter of fact, I was doing it with a drum switch uh, before. I know what that wiring was, but it's not helping me get this situation running. Look, there's a million ways to skin a cat with a VFD. That The book is an inch thick with full of different codes for, for the whole alphabet. But anyhow... That's my little rant on there. If somebody's got any information to help me, would love to hear your information on that. All right, here we go. How you doing, Zeke? Want to work on a VFD? Huh? Want to install some DC braking? Huh? On a VFD? Yeah? What you think? Say yeah or no? DC braking? What do you think? Maybe before supper? Huh? What is it? Is that a yes or what? Let's work on the VFD. Come on. Wanna work on the VFD? Or would you rather just have something to eat?
Like food or something. That's wrong. Hey, you want some food? No? What? What? A little snack? Huh? Yeah? A snack. You don't want to work on the on the VFD? What? Miller machine? Come on. What do you want? Which is it? Well, you act like you just woke up. What? Come on, you want a snack? Maybe a treat? What is it? What do you want? How about some food? <laughs> Say, get up. Huh? You want some food? Oh, you're getting old and stiff, old dog. Huh? Alright, here we go. A little food. Yeah, snack? Yeah, which is it? Alright, here we go.